In this Bard's Tale 4 guide, we will check out the Bard class and share some tips on how to play it effectively. The Bard is the most versatile class in the game and covers the support role with a wide variety of songs that buff allies and debuff enemies. Bards can also fulfill tank and DPS roles, so you have a myriad of options in how to approach your build. Thanks to their versatility, Bards can be played from just about any position in combat. However, they are most efficient from the front row because of their high base constitution and the quantity of constitution they gain from passive skills. Their songs and attacks can disrupt enemy forces easily while also protecting party members from harm, making them excellent frontliners together with the fighter class. Bards use spell points to play songs and they regain spell points through the Chug ability and Potion of Focus. To use Chug, you need to have booze available in your inventory. Drunkenness is an indicator of how many stacks of drunk the Bard has at the moment. Every time the Chug ability is used to restore spell points, you will get a stack of drunk. How many stacks of drunk and spell points you receive depends on the booze used. If your drunkenness number is higher than your intelligence, the bard doubles its strength for that round only. The downside is that the bard will be stunned during the next round and its channeled abilities will also be cancelled. It is a risky move that can pay off sometimes, but only if you are playing the DPS oriented bard because they can use that bonus strength more effectively than other builds. The race selected for the bard will vary depending on the role and build you are aiming for. Tanks and DPS bard roles require different races since some bonuses work best with particular builds. These are the recommended combinations. Bards excel at support roles but can add tank or DPS elements to their playstyle. They have a wide variety of skills to choose from that determine their role. Most of them are combat oriented but there is also a very important non-combat skill from the bard crafting tree called wine pairing. It doubles the effectiveness of any food consumed meaning you will heal for twice as much. With this passive skill even low level food like broth can be quite effective. Bards start off with Sanctuary Score and the Chop ability. Sanctuary Score is an amazing support song that provides a shield for an ally and to heal to them when the shield is broken. Chop is a basic attack ability that damages an opponent and has a 30% chance to put the bleed status effect. Both of these abilities are very useful for certain playstyles, but after these starting abilities you'll have to choose a role for your bard and skills that complement that role only. The following are some ideas for different bard roles. Tank Support A tanky bard with support abilities is a frontliner that can take lots of damage while buffing allies and debuffing enemies. Supporting is done with songs such as Sanctuary Score and Kale's Rudiment, while debuffing enemies is done with Wayland's Watch and Falcontine's Fury. If you have practitioners in your party, Spellsong is really useful because it restores spell points. To restore spell points and do some damage in the process, use Chug with Mean Drunk. Important attributes for this bard are Constitution, Spell Points, and Intelligence. DPS The idea behind the DPS bard is to strike enemies hard with your chosen weapon to get a kill. Victory Shot and its upgrades will restore spell points when the bard gets a kill and those spell points can be used to cast something like Falcontine's Fury that marks all enemies and detonates upon doing damage to a marked enemy. As a straightforward weapon oriented build, focus on the strength and constitution attributes. Bards are a versatile bunch that can offer many things to every party including some drunken fun. They have many useful songs and attacks on top of amazing non-combat passives like wine pairing that doubles food effectiveness. Keep your bard in the front line, let it take some damage instead of other weaker party members, and either focus on supporting your party with buffs and debuffs or deal damage to enemies near you. Bards can do both very well thanks to their versatility and decent constitution bonuses from passive skills. If you follow the tips above, you will increase your attributes to match your role, so seek out and equip the right gear. If you are playing the game, check out the Bard's Tale 4 Barrows Deep wiki. You should also have a look at our Getting Started guide or check out our other Bard's Tale 4 Barrows Deep class guides.